hello everyone and recently while i was browsing i found this cool looking uh, animated timeline and i decided to create this in elementor and this is i did reach some point but it is not perfectly like this for example i did create this thing which is like same i'm just i i have just not used like the same design you see this is just like temporary purpose design that i have added on placeholders but you could see this is how it looks and we are going to learn how we can make it and you will be able to change it however you want if you want like a single color in here or any other gradient color if you want like something else around here something like simple like this you could also change the width of this one you could also change your own content add your own content and then rather than having like this or rather than having like alternating you could also keep it like this so you would be able to do like a lot more stuff with this one so how about i just show you guys how we can make this uh, one more thing that i will be creating a template of this and will be giving it on my website so if you want to try that you could check it but you will still need to watch this video so that you understand how it works else it just might not work perfectly or it might mess with some issues okay so let's get started first thing first i actually have a container in here which is like 100 in wave, wave port height like this wave height and that is basically just so that we can just like uh, scroll a bit okay so this is where i'll start so i'll add a container on top of it and inside of this i'll add a container again and then maybe give it like 1300 and then height actually does not matter but for time purposes i'll just add like a random one uh, let me copy this color code and then paste it okay so this is how our stuff looks right now just to know which one or what we are doing i'll uh, name it like timeline main i guess so basically if you do not see this you could enable like navigator and you it would show like this so inside of this we just need to add another one which is going to be our uh, what you call it's going to be our timeline okay so we will keep it full width because we have already given this one like 1300 pixels like this and i'll call this as like timeline you could name it anything just something that would uh, make you remember now inside this container i will be adding three in extra containers so the first one would be for our left stuff the second one would be for our middle stuff and the right one would be our third for the right stuff so let's add a container inside of this one let's give it a full width and in our timeline container i'll just make it go from left to right so that if i just duplicate this one it goes from left to right like this the first one i'm going to call it as i guess left one and i'll call this like right and then the middle one would be middle it just makes it easier to understand which one is which now by default elementor adds like padding so if you know if you go in my timeline and then if you see this is empty so if i remove zero or if i do zero it removes the default padding which which is like 10 padding so elementor adds like 10 padding so i'll remove this one and once you remove the padding it might get harder to select so you could see that this one and this one is getting overlapped for example if we remove this one you could see right now i can select the left one easily you could see and then the timeline easily but if i remove this the left and this one gets overlapped so make sure navigator is on and make sure you are selecting the right one when you are doing the changes the first one i can just give it like a vh of 45 so it's like half of our screen approximately half if you want like perfectly half you could do 50 but uh, i keep I kept it 45 but it's up to you then in our timeline we will remove the gaps so between each container we have a gap of 20 pixels we don't want that so i'll just remove it and make it zero that way there's no gap for the left container i'll make it 45 percent for the right one i'll make it 45 and in the middle one i'll make 10. you could play around with this, with these values but it's up to you completely what your what sizing you want in the left one i'll add my text i'll call it i guess uh like i don't know like june 2024 make it white and 
just increase the size however you want and then i'll give it a and i'll give it like a font of enter and then make it place on the right side so this is how it looks and then the next thing is we would we just need to add our content on the right side so now because this is just adding content which is like normal ht uh, normal elementor i'll just copy paste from my other one because this is like very basic stuff and then our main goal is to learn the animation okay so this is how it looks right now now the next thing is inside this middle one i actually want to create two containers one is going to be our gray bar so if you go in here you could see we actually have a gray bar and one of this has this colored one okay so this one i'll select this one and i'll call it gray bar something like this okay once you have selected the gray bar just make sure this is full width and then we will instead of using pixels we will use like or oh sorry instead of using percentage we will switch to pixels and then maybe make it like three pixels and then make sure remove the padding like this now for time being we can make it be in center but we are actually going to use position absolute to make it like much more better so for time being we can keep it middle like this so that we could uh, edit it nicely and here we can just choose our color as like the gray color so let me just minimize this okay nothing showing up okay so because we haven't added any sizing it's not showing so you could see i totally forgot about that so make sure we make this like three and for time being this is just for like temporary purposes okay we will be changing this data and here we will just make it uh you know gray color so this is what i'll choose okay now inside now for this container inside of this i actually want to add another thing and there's no option of uh, what you call percentage around here but you could type 100 percent like this after selecting this pen icon and it would be 100 percent like this so you see this so i'll remove the padding which is like default padding which comes with it like this and that way the gray color would just stretch completely like this now I'm going to do is duplicate this gray bar or basically just copy this gray bar and then paste it inside the gray bar like this and let's name it like progress bar or something and this would be our colored bar. So this progress bar is actually getting placed inside of this. So maybe if I make this one be like red color, it should be visible. And let's see if I make the height to be 50 percent you could now see how it looks if i do preview changes or actually we don't need to we can just check it around here like this what i want to do is i want this grape uh, this red bar which is a progress bar to increase with our scroll so basically we will make that when it is in center the bottom part should be at the center stuff like that and for that we will actually be using gsap which is like an animation library which makes like the work much more easier than uh, just using javascript so what i'm going to do is below this one i will add an html widget you can absolutely do is add the html widget inside this one so instead of having the html widget around here you can just add it inside this one so i let's just do that why not and this is where the html widget would be it should be below our elements okay it cannot be above our elements it should be below our elements so to reference our gsap we need to use like this code which is this one and that you could get from like just typing gsap cdn and then go to this link and if you select the first link that is the same thing that i am using and if i copy this one and then paste it around here i can just add the gsap script javascript library basically to our website and one thing i want you guys to know that let's say you are using like a gsap already so for example a plugin or theme had already installed gsap to your website you don't need to add this uh, script okay because that would just i think increase the size maybe because imagine G uh, adding this script as installing a software you don't want to install a software again and again and again okay so if for example uh, what we will do is you can just wait for this tutorial and then at the end you just you don't have to or at the end just 
add the code and stuff that i'm going to show you and just remove the script okay so do not add this script and if the animation still works without adding the script it means that some other plugin or theme has already added gsap and if that is the case then you don't need to add this script src but if you add the script src and the animation is working then you don't have to worry about anything and just you could play around with it okay so this is the first thing that i am adding and gsap is basically an animation library and the second thing we want to add is if you scroll down there's like scroll trigger and this allows us to make our animation work based on our scroll okay if you want to learn more i actually have videos coming which is like one of the videos already uh, on there on like uh, on my youtube where based on the scroll images get revealed and they get revealed in like a sliced effect you could check that video but i'm also going to do like text animations and stuff or how to simply just do anything animatable to your website with gsap and it's like very powerful and easy to use plugin or sorry library so just adding this one makes our gsap work okay and let's say if you want to like add something else so if you have two uh, what you call two timeline on your website so one is around here and one is around here and if you want to like organize it and if you let's say duplicate this one you do not need to like uh, let's say add this again okay so for example this one is for first timeline and this is for the second one you do not have to reference the gsap again because that way because we have already like installed the software right so we do not need to type type this again and again it only needs to be typed only once also you could run this on your whole website by adding in custom code and i wouldn't recommend it because it may, it would mean that a web a page where gsap is not used the gsap is already getting like referenced but if you use it in this way the gsap only works on the page that uh, that the animation is okay so that's like a really good way to decrease the page page size and increase the page speed so i, I was talking too much so let's get started first so first thing first we will add style and this allows us to add the css but before that i need to type something so before we do anything else i want to show one more thing i totally forgot about it and that is we want to add like a something around here right so let's see if i add an image around here it gets added below this one which is like annoying for example let's say if i try to let's try this one why not i can add this image it is getting below this one because our this thing is like 100 percent right so let me just first do is make this like i guess 30 and then make the height 30 and let's do like contain that way it would be like let's do 50 50 why not and this is 50 50 but you could see because this container is like 100 percent it is getting pushed below obviously we could do is we could use absolute and that way it does not use like and it does not use like any space anymore like this okay but again for the video purposes or in this video what i've actually done is rather than making this one as absolute i have actually made the container as absolute so if you can see around here which is like dm bar container i've added a code which makes it absolute rather than using like this stuff and rather than using like the parameters given by elementor i actually have used it around here simply because it allows me to like change the values around here if i want to do and it would do for like every single one of it because if i don't do that then i'll have to i'll have to manually go and then do it from the elementor settings for each and every one of them because elementor does not have like go global settings or something styling but let's say the reason why we cannot use absolute on our image is simply because i want this this thing to actually follow our screen right so if you don't want that to follow you could simply just do and then you know place somewhere around here and it's still good uh it, so if you just want the line to be around there and you don't want this to be animated you could use this method rather than making this one absolute you could use and make this one absolute okay so it's up to you but the easiest method i have found is to make this one absolute because i want this to be animatable so now we need to actually give the appropriate css classes so that our code works 
so the first thing is our left one so whatever you add on the left if you want to add text or anything you have to just call it dm timeline left like this then in the middle one which is this middle container we are going to call adds dm bar container then inside of this we have gray bar which is going to be called as dm timeline bar so make sure you give the right css classes or if you change the css classes you will also need to change the code so that it works okay so inside the gray bar we have our progress bar which is going to be called dm progress bar and then we have the image which is our pointer and you could add anything you want you do, it doesn't have to be an image it can be an icon it could be just like text or anything that you want and inside of this we are going to give it dm timeline point okay so remember the total css classes are for the heading which is around here it's called dm timeline left the middle container is going to be called dm bar container then inside of this we have a gray bar which is called dm timeline bar and inside of this we have a progress bar which is called dm progress bar and then we have an image which is dm timeline point i'm going to copy this code and then paste it and you could say it didn't work because what i need to do right now is in our timeline section i need to choose space between okay so like this and as you use space between what it does is for example we have added like a css class called absolute to this one so it is actually just compressing it which is kind of annoying but if which is why it is not considering the middle container as something that is like there okay so because we are using position absolute but if you do space between what it does is it makes the first container to the left and the last container at the right side and you could see it just works now perfectly so let's do is do preview changes and see how it looks right now if it works or not let's go down and you could see it is working kinda except the timeline point is not working so let's see why now the reason why this timeline point is not working oops where is it okay this one so this is the one that we are making is because this container is actually taking space and for that we can actually make this one have a position of absolute and the reason why we are not giving this one as absolute because we are going to give it a different position or we have already given it which is called uh, position sticky you could see I, I actually have a video which is coming up or I don't know if I've already added but it it shows how we can use position sticky without having Elementor Pro to create like sticky elements so you could see now it works like this as soon as I did some position absolute so make sure to do position absolute make this to be percentage and let's do 50 but if you do 50 it's not actually going to be in the middle so if you check this one it's not actually going to be middle and that's just how position absolute works i've already explained it in like my other tutorials but what we need to simply do is click on transform go into offset and here we will choose percentage and here we will do negative 50 okay again we do not need to do y-axis because we are not changing the y-axis we are only doing for the x-axis okay so if i do something like this you could see it is now in center and it just works nicely don't worry if it does not uh, look nicer on the editor it will work on the main page and you could see suddenly it is not completely working because right now we also need to do is give the progress bar as position absolute and let's see you do not need to do anything around here and let's see if it works and you could see now it works perfectly so just remember to give absolute to this one make 50 so that it is in center and then do this one to make it like perfectly center i've already explained how this works or how like offset it works in other videos i don't want to repeat it again and again and you could see now it just works but we still need to do some stuff and that is if we go to tablet it tablet works nicer uh, not much of an issue we can obviously play around with the container size and all to match whatever you want but for the mobile version this is not how it should look right you could see it does not look perfect it just looks so random so what we need to do is 
uh it would have been better if we would have done the settings first and then added the code but whatever let's just try it so i'll just make everything small like this so left right and middle okay we need to change this to percentage because for some reason it changes to pixels and i'm going to make this as 90 like this and the right one i'm also going to make this as 90 and in our timeline we are actually going to make it like this so rather than left to right we are going to make it go from up to bottom and then our middle one which is this one we are going to choose percentage and make it like 10 pixels like this and now in our left one we can just simply make it do is or we can just go into our timeline and do align items at the end like this and you could see it still has some issues and that is because we still have to make for every single thing so let's do progress bar 3 and let's do this one as 3 and it just works you could see now everything would just work perfectly without having any issues now you could see there's like minimum height messing out messing it up so let's just make it zero and then now it just works nicely do not worry if it does not show the gradient around here it is actually working and obviously if this is like made to like 10 percent and let's say your image is not getting perfected we can actually reduce it to let's say 30 and then uh go in here and then make it 30 and just make it like even smaller so that it looks nicer if you want to do it from the to the right side all you simply need to do is if you want this bar to be on the right side we simply need to go into a timeline and make it to start we go to a middle container and inside of this one you could see that middle container has been given css class dm bar container and this one we are actually using like this one so dm bar container and it is set to like left right so left 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 something like this but if you go in here this is for the tablet and this is for the mobile and now all you simply need to do is change the left to auto like this and then make the right to be like zero percent like this okay and that way it just gets placed now one important thing i totally forgot is that uh, you know how we actually make this like 10 percent right in the code that i've given if you change this to let's say 20 30 you need to make sure you change this to also like whatever you want so for example this one is for the desktop version and if your desktop version of this is using 10 which is why i added 10 around here so if you make this to let's say 20 then you will need to change this to like 20 okay else it would not be in middle so let's say if i make this to like 20 you could say it kind of messes it up so you need to make sure that the code has also changed this to 10 for the desktop one let's say for tablet you are using some different one which is like rather than 10 you are using something else then inside this media width which is 1024 pixels you could also say it says 1024 pixels you will need to change it to whatever you are set to tablet now simply to add more containers we can just do is copy this one and duplicate like this make sure in the main container we do not have like any spacing so if you check right now you could see there's like a gap around here so if you want that gap it's totally okay but if you don't want that you simply need to make sure that this is set to zero spacing like this like this and in our this one i don't remember what i've done i have given like 50 padding at bottom 50 on top and same around here so make sure before you copy you do all the styling so i'll give like so 10 10 50 50 stuff like this so it does not get till top and it does not get till bottom we go in here let's do like 10 10 50 50 and right now it goes like this and obviously you could also give this one the same one which is like 10 10 50 50 and that way it does not go till top it does not go till end like this and then you will need to do all the styling for everything to make sure it matches your requirement and i can simply just do is duplicate this one and rather than going from left to right we could do right to left and it just changes and we can also make this go left like this and then make this one go right like this and that way we get this cool effect which is this one and you could see how cool this looks and if you want to have some like uh, let's say transparency around here what you could do is you could add something inside of this one so on the top one we can just add like uh, let's say another container 
I know too many containers are being added, but again, we have no other choice. So 100 and let's do like uh, 100, something like this. Give this position absolute. Make it place on the top, which is like this is perfect. And inside of this, we can simply just select this color. In the inside of the, the container that I've added inside, I'll call this as like opacity gradient or something. And inside of this, I'll choose this gradient, copy this one, and then make the second color be transparent like this. And let's see how it looks. Let's scroll down and you could see we actually get some nice transparency around here like this. And we can do the same thing instead of placing the container at the top. We can actually place this at the bottom. So inside of this, obviously we do not want to add this in every single section. It just needs to be on the top and the bottom container. We just simply need to select this at the bottom and we also, we just need to like switch the gradient style and we can obviously play with like the location and all to make sure it matches our requirement so right now you could see it starts with this opacity and then it ends with this opacity and it looks really nice then another thing is changing the color now you could see we have a css gradient site open and which is like a really good site if you go to this code if you go let's say around here this is the background color that i've added and the thing about this background color is the first color and the last color has to be same because let me show what would happen if you don't do that okay so if i let's say copy this one let's copy this background color and then we just need to replace it in the dm progress bar around here so let's just search for it and then here i'll just replace it with dm progress bar and let's see what would happen it also needs to be at like zero degree or 180 degree okay so remember that because else it would be from left to right we don't want that so it goes like this looks nice and you could see we get this weird stuff around here which does not feel like it's tra it's transitioning nicely so which is why we just add like the same color which is like the at the end we just add it at the start like this paste it maybe let's try like different color okay so maybe let's try this one but again we need to make sure we add this stuff and the first and last color is same like this so that like transitions nicely make sure it is 0 or 180 degree based on selecting 0 or 180 the top color and bottom color would be different okay i'll just paste it in here like this let's preview changes and see how it looks And you could see we just added the different color and it just blends nicely stuff like this so it's very easy to add like new content new stuff around here obviously you could just make it like however big you want like duplicate duplicate stuff like this also get the templates and all i have a lot more tutorial coming up so make sure you like and subscribe share this video consider subscribing because i want to reach like thousand subscribers because that's like one of the monetization goals for youtube so you could see how nice it looks and to explain to you like simple code we have made it sticky so we have made this stuff sticky and it is set to top 50 vh so this section would always be at the center of the screen you see this is center of the screen uh, it's not perfectly centered because of this bar but in live page it would be because this admin bar would not be there like this and you could see how nice it looks so it's very simple to do very easy to do and very customizable so yeah thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and yeah goodbye